Does your amp miner L3 Plus sound like this? To this, all you gotta do is shut it off. It is that easy. I'm just kidding guys, but for real though, do you want it to go from this to this? Rabbit's got you covered. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Rabbit Miner YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can shut that App Miner L3 Plus up. <laughs> so I did previously drop the video on uh, the App Miner L3 Plus versus the Mini Doge Miner and the majority of the comments said the big plus of the Mini Doge is because it's so quiet. You live in an apartment or you know some place where noise could be an issue. So I ordered up some fans. I'm going to do a fan replacement. All the links will be in the description, but I'm going to throw them on here and see how quiet we can actually get this ant miner to be. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to for actually using my crypto for real life purchases. With the Crypto.com Visa debit card, it makes it easy to use my mind assets to pay for my power, purchase new GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, hard drives, as well as collect 8% cash back wherever Visa is accepted. If you would like to sell straight to your standard bank account, you can easily request an e-transfer which usually shows up the following day. On top of all that, Crypto.com also offers trading, simplified DeFi, as well as staking to help you increase the revenue on your crypto assets. Join over 10 million plus users buying and selling 250 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost. By using my affiliate link in the description, you will be granted a $25 funding bonus. Or enter code RABID, R-A-B-I-D, at the sign up. And remember, crypto has its risks. Just like everything else, do your own research. Now, if you are not sure, all the noise that comes out of this thing, it is in the fans. These are 6,000 RPM fans. So when they ramp up, they get really loud. But we are going to go with some different Noctua fans here. And by putting them on, I am hoping the cooling will still be decent. And then it will still maintain the same hash rates and everything. But it will keep the noise levels on the down low. Seeing as my basement isn't quite big enough to have a bench in the middle of all my mining rigs here, I am going to have to use this Octaminer. So hopefully it works out in our favor. Uh, here are some Noctua NF F12 Industrial PPC 3000 power management fans so here they are all with the open box here and these are really nice looking fans like look at that these look amazing now i did manage getting these from newegg because amazon was all sold out i believe newegg sold out as well but there's supposed to be more stock coming in fairly fairly soon but the thing about these fans is because i did get them on newegg i hope they work because as we know gamers nexus uh, I may have, may get charged $500 to send these back because they send broken items. So now that you know the fans I am going to use and what they look like, I'm going to jump into the workstation. We're going to have a look at the temperatures and then see what we're at. And then after we put these fans on, we're going to compare it and see how well these are actually cooling. So here we are with the current 6,000 RPM fans on. And we're sitting around 53, 53, 48 and 50 degrees across these hash boards. So let's jump in there, start with step one and start installing these new fans. Step number one of replacing these fans, we're gonna have to unplug this thing. Now, I don't, I could try to attempt doing a fan change while it's running, but there may be an issue of me potentially chopping my finger off. Ah! You know, something like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But, you know, we're gonna unplug this right now. Bam, and that's pretty much the only way that you can't turn these things off. They don't have power buttons or anything. Next up, obviously we're gonna drop out this ethernet cable. I almost put that into that fan over there. So that would have been bad. Don't want that happening. We'll just run into a whole bunch of issues here. Now you don't need to unplug all these power cables or anything, but I think I'm going to, that way I can actually move this out here and I could probably have a peek inside and this probably does need a cleaning job. So I may as well clean it while I'm doing this as well, depending how it looks. So here's that Antminer L3 Plus. It's all taken apart. We've got a little bit of dust and stuff building up in the front. So I'm gonna clean that out there. But overall in the back and the middles, it does look pretty good. So it's just in the front, it's not too, too bad. And there isn't really much to these Amp Miner L3 Pluses. It's pretty much just their case, the control board, and then their four hash boards that they have here. So 
you could get your hands on a hash board, a control board. You could pretty much just build your own, get a power supply, these couple cables here, and you're up and running with your own L3 Plus for probably saving quite a bit of money as well. Okay, so I did clean out the inside of this amp miner, and it's looking pretty good, almost brand new now. So I guess now is the time to start installing these fans. Now, before I do actually install these, I just want to point out, there's no arrows or anything on this, on any side to point wind direction or flow direction. So you just got to keep in mind, fans usually always go towards the back. So this one is going to have to go this way, now you have to make sure you reverse it. On the back side, it will have to be like this. If it's not like this, the two fans will be fighting against each other and that's just gonna end up bad news and overheating. fans are now installed but there's two issues we may run into one is already here uh, the little tabs here they are smaller than what's on the big one so they don't fit in there so I may have to cut these tabs off or carve them off or just break those tabs off doesn't matter it won't wreck anything but or I could just try to force it on number two is because these are only 3,000 rpm fans we may have issues I have, might have to go in here and tell it to ignore its fan controls because as you know, the other ones are 6,000 RPM and if anything is wrong with even the fans, this thing will shut down. It needs everything running 100% or it won't work. So I may have to tell it to you know, bypass the fan speeds. That way it doesn't detect anything funny going on because it won't boost to the speed that it wants to go to. Fans are now plugged in. I did break the tabs off the backside just so they would fit. So everything's looking good i'm going to plug this in see how it's working and see if it even boots up if it doesn't i will have to go into the back end through the ip address and let it know to disable its fan controls so the next step is actually bypassing your fan so you have to log in through the ip you can't do this through hive os itself uh, here you can see i'm in the hive on asic firmware logging in the default of all this is always root and root for your username and password if it's the first time you're ever setting this up Hopefully, if you've already set it up, you have changed your password and everything, as well as your administration username. But you're gonna have to go into minor configuration here, and this is where it'll be, but right now you can see it's a bug. You cannot see it, it's not displayed right now. Just simply click minor status, and then go back to minor configuration. Now you can see disable fan check, immersion cooling only. So you're gonna turn this on. Mine's already on because I did it, but now it will show up. You engage that, you save and apply, reboot your app miner so unplug it for like 30 seconds or some plug it back in and it should be up and running well here we are all ramped up 503.8 mega hash we're slightly warmer than the 6000 rpm fans but that's to expected we're running a lot slower here but we are like dead silent you can't even hear these things anymore so that's great now if you live in a desert you might not want to do this but if you're in an apartment or other some other type of environment this will work 100 percent just fine okay guys there we have it this at miner is now i don't know very very silent it sounds so weird down here these octa miners at 70 percent is pretty much all i can hear now i don't really like it personally i may want the other fans back because it doesn't sound like a mining basement anymore it just sounds like I don't know it sounds too quiet <laughs> but that's what a lot of you guys wanted to hush this thing up so here we are it's all hushed up everything's dead silent and you can run this in an apartment or something else the temperatures did drop to 58 degrees now so it does seem like it's varying depending on how it's operating i guess i'm gonna let it run for a couple days we'll see how it goes and then i'm probably gonna put the old fans on this was just a test to quiet it down but I really enjoy that noise. I like the way those things sound, but that's just personal preference on my end. Hope this video helped you out in any way. Please hit that subscribe, thumbs up, bell notification. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't seen one of these, be sure to check them out. And if you already seen them, maybe you missed some, might have to watch it one more time. And if you just let it play in the background, 
that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.